Bitch. What's your name again? Chris. Chris Gunter. Chris. Fucking hell, Chris. Took you a while to remember that name, didn't it? Well, I got the mention. How, how do you spell that surname? G U N T E R. Gunter. Ah, okay, yes. nice. What part of Wales are you from? Ponty Pandy, Dad. Ponty Pandy? That's not a real place. Yes. So where are you from? It is. Ponty Pandy. Ponty Pandy. So you know Fireman Sam? I do as it goes, yeah. Nice fella. Oh, fair enough, fair do. What, so how long have you been in the city for? Eh, yeah, not too long. Later on, we get about. Alright, okay. You got an ID on you? I do as it goes. You want to put that in the glove box for me? No. Yeah, see, this is where... Hands, face, space. Right, out of the car, Junior. It's funny that, isn't it? The, 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 the Sky's voice you opted for is completely identical to Captain Cush. Now get your fucking I don't hands know up. Captain Cush is. Now, should we all calm down? There will be no calming down here, mate. Absolutely none of it. You're Fuck full shit, of huh? shit. You lied when we first Dude. met you. Oh, what? frequency radar scanner, camera. Yes. Oh my god. Hang on. Question for you here. Why are you carrying yes. Junior Huntley's ID? Oh, well, I'm good friends with him, I am. He's my uncles, nephews, dogs, cats, aunties, little brothers, owners, son. Is that so? Glad that I hurt. Well, well, well. Mr. Junior Huntley. Funny seeing you here, innit? SK, he's ditched his SIM card, he's oh, gone. What, what's going on? Raise your hands again for me one more time. Everything just went really black. I don't remember. Why, what's going on here? Yeah, what's going on, man? I'm, I don't know. What is going on? It's almost like the person that you threw under the bus and said was the one that told about what's going on here was the same person hiding you in the back of her car. I know what's going on, but something's not lining up. Three notebooks. No sane person carries three notebooks. There's got to be something juicy in here. I I do. Feel free to have a look, actually. I, did, I, I've, I found one in the dustbin, so I thought, fuck it, I'll give it a little quick scare. That one's got way too many words. That is how you grow vegetables. That was a very useful book, that was. So you ain't got a SIM card in your phone. Where's that? That, that is uh, for my information only and my eyes only. Right. So why would someone like you be trying to hide a SIM card? Well, because there's some very angry people like yourselves coming after me and only going through my business because my business is private. Well, let's just, let's just lay out the facts here, right? So... Information gets spilled about, you know, things to do with Johnny. It comes down to you and one other person that it could have come from, right? We get on to you, you know. Johnny has a call with you. You drop all the blame on the other person. We're convinced oh, the other no. person's not guilty and that it's you. All of a sudden, we see the two of you in a car at a hospital with you incapacitated in the back. Then, I find you, you're in a complete disguise. Using a, a disguised voice. We go through your pockets, we get your phone, and there's no SIM card. So, you're now dealing with multiple piles of horseshit. So, why are you lying? Now, hold on. Hold on a second now. Slow down. Hold your horses, as they say. Have you ever been to the races, mate? I don't care for your bullshit. I'm not Luke. What do you mean, don't... What do you mean, don't care I for don't want a video application. I don't want none of your shit jokes. I want straight to the point, and I want to know why the fuck you're running your gums. I'm not one of my gums. So how the fuck is Johnny's name getting mentioned and this information being spilled to a cop then? Because it's very... Johnny literally invited the guy down to the fucking shop. Like, what do you expect? So you're saying the reason this cop knows about what's going on there is because of Johnny? Well, it could be one of... I'm not fucking Houdini, man. I don't have all the fucking answers. You know what I mean? Question, Johnny. Did you uh did you bring that guy to the store at any point? He had, or is a, he sandwich waffling? From the store? He had a sandwich. He had a sandwich from the store and then just knew what was going on there afterwards, yeah? So
to answer me this right if you if you didn't say nothing if it ain't on you why is she covering for you because she's my friend because she's your friend well you gotta understand right junior from our side here you got two potential people who could have mm -hmm. slipped information to cops both yes. of those people are then lying for each other we catch one of them and they've abandoned their sim card you ain't thick well i don't know about that but debatable you're smart very enough, debatable but go on you are smart enough to know that that makes it seem very 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 dodgy it does i do all of my hands up it does I'm still waiting on my Fanta light, by the way. Can I have that first before we go on with the conversation, please? You thirsty? Not for a bullet. I don't know what that means. Uh. Well, you've got a gun in your hand, mate. Uh, an SUV going up along the back of this mountain. Uh. I'm not good eyes. What, what do you mean? You don't know what I'm I mean. there already. Do you need a drink or do you not need a drink? Uh, if you got a fan of light, then yeah. We ain't got a fan of light, so I guess you're going to be thirsty. Well, then direct me here, Junior. What's going on? How did this information get to this guy? You seem to have no idea and think that Johnny brought him there. But you also seem like a guy I'll, who's I'll got a lot to hide. I'll be honest, right? I'm, ma I'm yeah, mates with the guy because we're from the same place. Met, met with him when I first came right. into town. Tidy bloke. Right. I mean, like I said, but you got eyes on, I'd never going, ever I'm say anything thing. like that. No, I just need to get up to see if it's gone over the brow. Even if you wouldn't say anything it. like that, would she? Because you're clearly covering for each other, which makes me think one of you did it and you're not trying I don't to throw him under the bus. I don't think she would, but I'm not her. So you don't think she would, but the issue I'm having is, is on the phone to Johnny, you made it seem like you thought it was all her. No, I did What? So, sorry, expl explain how that conversation with you and Johnny went down after my phone call with him. Go on, Johnny, repeat what you told me on the phone. That it wasn't after I told you that two people could have done this. You said it definitely wasn't me that told Todd. And I told you, do you mean it's Autumn? And you said, no. But when I gave you the two options, you said it definitely wasn't you. Well, that's what I can 100% guarantee. So why are you sneaking about together then? That don't make no sense. She's trying to play innocent. You're scared you're going to get hurt, don't want to meet Johnny, and she's hiding you. What have you got to hide if you didn't do it? Well, nothing to hide, but it's just the fact of getting shot again, to be quite honest. Mate, a man that doesn't have anything to hide to... wouldn't hide. You were hiding. Very true, but I know how things can get twisted through conversations and through different people. Therefore, I wasn't really willing to take another risk and willing to take another trip into the intensive care unit to be honest with you you know how the city is bro if we need to find you we're gonna find you that's point proven right now and then the fact that we, we we find out you ain't got a sim card not only are you hiding yourself but you're hiding your phone and i run your pockets and you have multiple surveillance devices on you mm, no i had a camera so you know the camera to show like the frequency reader thing the frequency reader was me chopping the two show lights was actually you can ask luke about this i went down to the pushing spot and sang a tom jones song for everyone i heard Quite nice, apparently it was shit that was really good i got a 10 out of 10 from my <laughs> liverpool geezer so why do you take the sim out Because I, I messaged something. I'll be honest, I, I messaged something that didn't look good. All right, now we're getting the ball rolling. And what was it that didn't look good? The more honest you uh, are, the least guilty you're going to look. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, me I messaged him just the simple thing of... I, I sp I'll be honest. I was in Johnny and Autumn are like my parents, okay? I don't know whether Luke's told you, but 
both my parents died when I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm a still a kid, but they died when I was young. And they've been the two people who have been properly looking after me. And I don't want to fucking go into too much detail because it's obviously Johnny and Autumn's fucking business, but they've been having a bit of trouble recently and it's just been affecting me a little bit. Right, that's all very well and good, but what was the text? The text said... Uh, sorry, can I just finish my story because it needs context and then... Is that alright? Yeah, but you... Less of the sob story, more of the context. Okay. Uh, so then I went to go speak to Todd about how I was feeling and obviously Todd's close with Johnny and Autumn as well. And I just didn't want it getting back to Johnny or Autumn about how I was feeling because it would affect them. So I messaged him, just make sure nothing gets out about what I told you because I don't want it to upset anyone. And who did you message that to? Todd Hughes. So you took your sim out because you sent a text to a guy called Todd saying don't let anything out. And you thought that looked bad. And the guy by Todd the name Hughes. of Todd Hughes is the cop that we're talking about. Yeah. yeah, he's a Welsh cop, yeah. Yeah. Can you verify, Johnny, that you're like a father to Junior? I took care of him when he needed. He took care of me when I needed. So if you're being so honest now, right, and you're saying that that's why you sent the text, surely you just keep the SIM card on you and then explain. Well, this is the thing. It's very easy for you to just go, or someone's get very fucking riled up and just go, you're chatting shit, bang, bullet in the head, and that's me done. Have I ever done that to that's you before? Why... Sorry, SK, but junior motherfucker, this is exactly why I gave you the respect and the, the, the history that we've had and had a conversation with you, man to man, standing up, and gave you the opportunity to tell me what happened. All of this unraveling right now it's not looking good, brother. <laughs> I gave you that opportunity because of the history. And I told you that. Because of the respect. And you disrespected me while I was talking to you to walk away. I mean, even that in itself looked sus as fuck. Like, everything you've done thus far, you may as well be wearing a sign that says, I'm guilty. And to have Neil call me tell me junior's worried his his you're gonna shoot him you've been telling people you think i'm gonna shoot you i told i told neil that i, I couldn't chill with him because i was scared shitless for my life and because he's my friend he wanted to know why you realize how it's piling up right junior yeah so tell me then you've already said you know he came in for a sandwich <laughs> How does Todd know? How does, how does Todd know all this stuff? In your opinion, how does Todd know? I don't know. That is my honest answer to you. I don't know. And in your head, you're probably thinking, yep, yeah, fantastic. Here's my opportunity to shoot him. But I'm genuinely telling you, my honest answer is, I don't know. Would Autumn know? That's something you'll have to ask her. So you have no idea. At first you thought it was, you know, Johnny bringing him into the store, but now you're not sure. Well, he brought him into the store, but that's just one of the... It's a very minute thing in comparison to figuring out what actually goes on in there. You know what the problem is here, Junior? The, the, the whole... The, from the very first moment you was around us, right? There was opportunities there for you to, to, to have a pathway into being with us and i know that's what you wanted you made that very clear but time and time again Vicky, how you looking your judgment gets the worst of you even how you handle this situation yeah, getting rid of a sim card one. texting that Vicky, like brother. running away from fucking johnny in the conversation the way you tackle all of these things is the complete wrong way bruv you've done it time and time again like you you, you are literally your own worst enemy i'll be real i know but I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm a kid who's made a lot of mistakes and I'm trying my best to learn. You're a kid who's made a lot of mistakes in a game where they don't take too kindly to mistakes. Now look, I don't know you the same way that Luke knew you. And I'll be honest, I don't trust you probably even 10% of the way that he did. I'm a... 
I'm unsatisfied with the information I've got from you thus far. So I'm gonna have to get Big Mick to come down here real quick and see if he can squeeze a little thing or two out of you. Sorry, Mickey, come down here with that knife of yours, please. And I'm talking anything. I need information. Oh, I need what Autumn knows. I need what you know. I need the truth about what that text was. If it was the truth and, you know, he puts you in a situation and you're convincing, then maybe I'll believe you, but... I'm going I'm to play a through ball to Big Mick and I'm going I'm to I'm see what he can get out of you real quick. Bring it on. Come on, Mick. Take him on the little balcony porch area over there if you want. Nice little area. What, Mick fella? Bloody hell, it's like private school all over again, Jesus. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> now, Junior, it turns out you've been a bit of a fucking idiot, doesn't it? I get told that a lot, yeah, mate. I'm sure you do. I want to know everything you know, and I'm going to find out everything you know. Let's just take a second to breathe. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Got the fuck up, you bastard. Oh my fucking god, that hurt. Now, if you don't want to start losing parts of your body, <laughs> start talking. What do you want to know? Every fucking the thing. The truth, man. Spill the fucking beans. I'm sure these gentlemen have been asking you plenty of questions. It's time you start answering them with the truth. So, I met up with Todd to talk about Autumn and Johnny's relationship. I sent a text, which, which I hold my hands up, looked very fucking bad on my behalf. And I panicked because of what Johnny brought to me today. That text, fucking hell, bro, was sent three days ago. Talking everything. Spill your fucking guts, sunshine. <laughs> um, what else do you want to know about Todd Hughes? What do you want to know? Tell me about Todd. Tell me about Autumn. What's Autumn got to hide? Autumn. Autumn doesn't have anything to hide. She was. She was purely just protecting me. Bullshit. Of... She had you to hide. But I was. Why is she say... hiding you? Because you know I was fucking shit scared. Best I can do. Face me, right, you me favor, mate. All 101 of being in an elevated position on a ridge line. Don't silhouette now, yourself oh. against it, right? Find a position where you're not back okay. silhouetted. So. Get a decent viewpoint. Instant. Todd Hughes, I went to go speak to you him about Autumn right, right? and Johnny's relationship, sent a bad text, and then. I don't know what else to tell you, mate. Did what you take you a phone know? call with Johnny in the car with Autumn, yes or no? Uh, the second one. The one where he asked to meet again? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. What did Autumn have to say about that phone call? Because I'm sure you told him what I said. Uh, I spoke, I, I picked up the phone and we pulled over and then I pulled over to one side and spoke to it, spoke to Johnny on his own because I didn't want Autumn's judgment affecting anything because if, if it, if it came down to it and Realistically, I know you guys are ruthless, right? I'm I'm not a fucking idiot. So if it, I was I was thinking in my head if it came down to it, I wouldn't want her doing anything stupid over me and getting her in, getting herself in trouble over me. So why would she get in trouble? For fucking for protect for protecting on? me like she was. But if she truly believed you ain't done that, and then surely she wouldn't feel the need to protect you, no? I haven't checked yet. There's people coming coming after me with yeah, guns in their hands and knives in their hands. To get hold of you. you didn't know that at this point. Telling, you know what I mean? All you knew was yeah. that Johnny called you and wanted to meet with you. So why did you think there's people coming at you with guns and knives? Because I know because Johnny oh, look spoke at me, look at to me. me. After the second time, Johnny spoke to me. 
he mentioned he didn't want to speak anymore. If this is the path I wanted to go down, I'd do it. And I remembered from the first time I got shot by Luke, the same sort of fucking thing happened. Me getting lulled into a false sense of security. I knew something was up. Ask me if I can ping her again. Oh, go with that text. He's chatting you pure breeze, Make sure me. you are fucking believable, son, because that ear is coming off in a fucking minute if you don't start telling the fucking truth. Up the pressure on him, Mick. We need to get the truth out of this guy. Do you pick none? Pick a fucking hand. Which fucking finger do you want okay, to lose, okay. son? I like both of them. I like both. No, I, you I ain't can... gonna have fucking both of them in a minute. I'm a very good cook right, in Wales. Yeah. Just please, I'm famous. I couldn't give a fuck. Stop taking the piss and start spilling what you fucking know properly. No That's all more right. bullshit. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> anything else. I can't tell you anything else. You're not convincing enough, though, bro. You're not. You're not. You ain't speaking like. You ain't telling me this truth like it's your truth. What else do you want Did to Did you tell Todd any information about Johnny, about the manor, about what the fuck we're doing, regardless of if it was intentional or not? Have you had conversations with him on or off duty where you've let slip anything? When I say anything, I mean anything from the color of our masks to dropping a name by accident. Yes, Think I mentioned that carefully. Johnny worked at the pizza place. There we go. So you said Johnny works at a pizza place? Yeah. Did you tell him Johnny um, worked at a shop or he worked out by himself? By himself he worked right? out by himself considering he went there and bought a sandwich. And when you said he worked at a pizza shop, you know, did you say he worked at a pizza shop as an affiliation to the manor or he's just an employee of the pizza spot? I just said Johnny works there. All right, GG, I've got to put my head down real quick. I can't get in any car for some reason. Huh. And do you think that he would have drawn the conclusion that because he works for two of our businesses, he's associated? Or did you give him that conclusion? I didn't give him any conclusion. I'm and you, you swear that. to God that text you sent him that looked dodgy was about what you say it's for? Yes. I need everything you've ever told this Todd guy that I would care about. Put a bit more pressure on Mick. I want to... I, I want to... See if he spills even more when he's in a vulnerable okay, scenario. Okay, okay, okay. There's, there's, there's one thing. Hold out your fucking hand. Shut up! Hold out thing. your fucking hand. There's one thing. I'll tell it, I'll tell it. Alright, let's hear it. Me and Todd promised to go back to Wales and track sheep together. You better slice one of his hands or something just for being a prick. Ah, yeah, Don't yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. take the piss, boy. Last fucking the, chance the, before you lose the, the first finger. That was the genuine truth. That was one thing we talked about. I'm trying to think what else we talked about. Um, that's really it. You need, um, Why'd you suddenly feel the need that you wanted to get into surveillance, Junior? Uh, I was doing it because I was bored. Didn't have anything to do in terms of uh, selling weed. And... and a certain Reverend Mullins told me that the uh, you know the guy there was a uh, you know a li little bit nicer with you. So I thought, fantastic business opportunity and a fantastic work opportunity for me. Hmm. So what are you going to use it for? Uh, I plan on using it for my Captain Cush videos. You need surveillance equipment for your Captain Cush videos. Why do you need to tap someone's phone for that? Why you need a deployable uh, camera for that? Uh, I need a camera for it so I can put cameras around the military base and, and so I don't have to pay a videographer. And what about the wiretaps? Because there ain't no way you're using that for that. You're chatting I'm pure not, shit. You know what, yeah? I'm not Look. planning on using the wiretaps. Mick, I'm going to give you and Junior a couple minutes of alone time. And I'm going to see what you can get out of this guy. Call, call me back over when he's actually ready to just stop chatting pure wass, please. No problem at all. It'll be my fucking pleasure. <laughs> Little do you know, I actually just need a piss. If, unless you want me to make something up to you and tell it to you, if that makes you happier. Because... Because hand to God, hand to God, there is nothing else. That's actually not true. There is definitely something else, and that's the one thing that might save your life. Yeah, the car coming in. 
And driving out again. Where the fuck is the SIM card? It's on Great Ocean Highway. Or unless Orton, I don't know whether Orton threw it away or not. Come on, more specifics. It was Great Ocean and now you don't know whether they threw it away. How did well, you dispose Orton of it? What did you do? Or Orton took it off me. And then I don't know whether she threw it o over into the sea in Great Ocean or what. So Orm has your SIM card last. You don't know what she did with it. No. All right, I'm stay with me. Sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yo, Johnny, come around here real quick. I'm alright. Okay. Understood. Let me give me keys again, real quick. Everything he's saying thus far, the guy, the guy, unfortunately, is just one of the least. He doesn't talk straight. Nothing he says is believable, but I don't think he's bullshitting on everything. But a lot of the answers that we need are on that SIM card. I've asked him where it is and I pr where it is, and I pressured him for it, and he said he thinks it's on Great Ocean Highway. He gave it to Autumn. He doesn't know what she did with it. So I need you to call Autumn. And I need you to say that we've got Junior and that he's going to get hurt if we don't find out where that SIM card is. Uh, I honestly think the better play. Apparently, she's trying to get in touch with him to find out where he is. Get, bring her fucking here. Mm, I don't want her knowing where we even are. I'd rather do this remotely. Okay, okay, no, no, that's fucking fine. Tell her to go Rebel Radio. I'll get in Johnny's car with fucking Gigi, with you, and we'll fucking grab her. Bring her here. If you can pull it off. I mean, all we've got to do is get her there. Will she go there, Johnny, or nah? Okay. I mean, if I tell her to, she would, yeah. Wait, the call. I will find out. All 11 toes. You gave the SIM card to Autumn. You don't know what she did with it. No. When did you give it to her? Um, Great Ocean, probably. I'd say around an hour ago now. So now if I was to get Autumn right now and ask her all of the things that you said involving her, she'd give the exact same story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does not sound very confident. Yes, sir. Better? No, I don't want to, sir. I ain't your fucking teacher. I just want to know if you believe the words that are coming out of your mouth or not. Well, I'd like to think so, yes. So you're going to have similar stories then? Yes. SK, can I have a quick word? All right. Take a seat. We're just going to... Uh, Take a seat. Oh, fucking... Just going to be... That's what I'm saying. Do you want me to whip Keep an eye on him, Mick. Keep an eye on him. Sit yeah, don't move. No. Shit in the fucking... Corner. And the engine off. Right, realistically, what more do we need from this guy? We know he's complicit to one degree or another. He's not walking away from here without... To be honest with you, Solomon, I'm gonna shoot him regardless. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Dome him, right? Let's go and pick up Autumn. The thing is, I kind of want them both alive for the time being, because I want to compare their stories. You've already heard his story. I know. But I want to see his reaction to hearing that her story is different. I want to see him know that he's been caught out. Is there anyone else around right now we can get up here? Because at the moment, the only people with guns are me, you and Mick. If we ping her, and she's, you know, she, me and Johnny go down there, right? We ping her, come over radio. She turns up with fucking people. Johnny ain't got fuck all on him. Mm, best bet is to send Johnny Solo to meet her. What do you mean, like a test for him? He goes there if she get her to pull up, right? He goes there alone to pick her up and bring her here. If she comes with any people, if she comes with cops, and that tells us exactly what we need to know. Johnny's unarmed. He hasn't hurt anyone. He he'll be fine. Okay. If he comes here without her, if she doesn't show up. If she brings police, if she brings friends to try to do some shit, then it just dictates no, 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 Junior's no, 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 fate no, no, quicker. Yeah, no, that's fine. But my point being, if she turns up alone, 
and then he comes back here empty-handed. What would lead to that? That her running away or? Or him trying to protect her. Well, it's also a test for him, I guess. All right, cool. You know, in an alternate universe, if you played your cards right, you could have been on the winning side. Win inside. Who the fuck makes a video application for a gang? <laughs> what? M me. <laughs> All could have been different. All could have been different, Junior, if you didn't just try and get $50 a baggie. Oh, I'm all this shit again. I ain't even had the chance to speak to you. To be honest, it's been everybody else who I've had deal with you thus far. This is the first time I've even spoke to you. After finding out all of your doings and hearing your name all the time and all the upset. Why did you do that? Why, why, why did you have a decent opportunity and fuck it up? Well, 50 a bag thing is very outrageous, can I firstly say. That, I will not, I'll own up to a lot of stuff. That, I won't. Why so? Firstly, never sold them to a 50 a bag. Secondly, I, I told him, it isn't true, but you're earning around $50 a bag. So you told him it was worth around $50 a bag, but you didn't sell it to him? Sorry, no, you make $50 profit. I never sold him a single bag for that value. But he was made to believe that it was that expensive. If I if I did do that at the time, yes it or was no? Open and honest mistake. Yeah, yes or no? Yes. And who was it? Zach. Yeah, Zach. And where, he, he and where does he push? He phone call the other day. Uh, down at Grove Street, mate. So he does push for us. Yes. Yeah, well that's better than it could have been. What about the pushers? What happened with them? Because they all seem to uh, hate you. Not actually true. I actually made up for a lot of them recently. Who have you made up with? Uh, I made up with Kai. I made up with... I'd like to think I made up with Raj. He's still a bit... Eh. Alex just don't like me, but I think we're on better terms now. Kai never really had a problem with me. Um, I think... Is it Cammy? Um, John's bird? Or am I wrong here? That's yeah, Steve's bird. Steve's, but it may be them. But to quote Kai, I genuinely just don't think she likes you for no reason. She's coming in now. Oh. Yeah. You don't really have a way with people, do you? Not really, mate. No, I just, I'm a bit of a prick. I don't think you're a prick. I think you're just a bit. You, you act before you think. I think I'm just, I'm, I'll be honest, right? I spoke to Luke, but I'm just a kid who's just trying to make his way through life and learn. I'm not perfect. Far from that. Yep. Ain't no one perfect, but there's people who ain't perfect who make a lot less mistakes and they'll come up. It doesn't matter how young you are, bruv. Like, I was your age once. I could probably name you one mistake I made and then that changed my whole trajectory. Seems like you, it was just one after the other. Even now, like even the way you handled this situation, imagine you was on the other side, yeah? Imagine you was in this group and you handled this, somebody had like this beef with you and they thought you was talking to cops and you was actually repping us and this was how you dealt with it. In any group, if you deal with situations like this, how you did, Ain't gonna end well. Dashing SIM cards, fucking his back. lying, hiding and shit. Ain't gonna work, man. He has a... But anyway. PG, get her phone radio off her immediately. Time to line up your stories. Keep on him, Mick.
Hello, Water. Hello. Name's SK. Nice to meet you. I uh, haven't met before, but I took the old man out of your car at the hospital. Uh -huh. Got a few questions for you. Go for it. Now, you know, I'm hearing lots of stuff when I wake up today yeah, about certain <laughs> Todd Phillips knowing things and knowing things that he shouldn't. Okay. Narrowed it down pretty simply to only two places it could come from. Now, both the places that they could come from is over there to my right and now standing in front of me. At the time, we spoke to Junior. Junior made it seem as if there was uh, only one place it could have come from, and that was you, because it most definitely wasn't him. What the fuck? We kind of left that open-ended. Hadn't reached out to you at that point until we found you at the hospital where you're protecting him. So he's pointing the finger at you, but you're protecting him. Also, we then rob him. We go through his phone. He ain't got a SIM card. He's telling me that you're the person that discarded his SIM card, that he gave it to you and you got rid of it. Sign don't line up here because we have two people who could potentially be guilty and they're both covering for each other. I ain't covering for him anymore. Look, I need the truth from you in the same way that this guy has told me he's given me the truth. What does Todd know? What have you said to Todd? What's your relationship with Todd? I'm friends with Todd. I've known him since before he was a cop. Before this is all fucking said and done, you're gonna As far as I knew, he knew nothing. That cunt's chest, right? He knew that Johnny was working at the pizza place with you guys, and Johnny had taken him there. He knew that Johnny owns the corner shop, and that he couldn't go there when he was on shift because there was some sort of issue between PD and somebody around that area. I don't know who, whether it was you guys, whether it was somebody else. I, I don't I don't know. And he how did he find those things out? How did he know he worked at a pizza place? Johnny took him to the pizza place. So Johnny's Johnny took him to the pizza place because yeah. that doesn't line up with what Junior said. Junior said he told him that he works at a pizza place. Yeah, he, he, took, he took him to the pizza place because he told him he worked there. He was showing it off. No, no. Junior said that Junior told Todd that he works at the pizza place. Oh, well, he may have done, but I know Johnny definitely told him and took him there. I was I was with him when it happened. Johnny, did you bring Todd to the pizzeria and show him around? We met Todd outside the pizza place, and uh, I told him that uh, if he'd like some pizza, this is uh, this is where I work. Okay. So then, why is Junior not saying that, and why is Junior saying he told him? I don't know. I'm sick of covering for this rat. The reason he was at the hospital is because I wrenched him up the side of the head. And why did I'm you not wrench him? For him? Because I found out more information than I knew, and I turned out that I was covering for somebody that was just going to shoot me in the fucking back. And what did you find out? He's got a larger mouth than it seems. Expand on that. Pardon for everything. I need audience. all the info. This is the time to be fucking honest. Yeah, Johnny works at the corner store. He's friends with you guys. And, uh, and what? That's that's what Junior told who? Told. And how do it you know that? Something, it wasn't something he... Because Junior told me. Junior told you? Yes. That he told Todd mm -hmm. that Johnny works at the corner store and is friends with us. Or whatever, yes. And is close friends with you guys. Just, just wait here for a moment. Just waiting. Junior! So, in the game of story match, we have a little conflicting story here because your friend Autumn over there is now telling us that apparently you told Todd that Johnny works at a corner store and that he's very close friends with us. True or false? False. So she's lying. But that was already common knowledge, Sam. You do know that, don't you? So why is she saying that you told her? She said you told her that information and she hit you with a wrench and that's why you was at the hospital. True or false? False. So why were you at the hospital? I didn't... I uh, I didn't get to finish my story. I told her, um, look, I've not I've fucked up, but this looks really bad. And she just kind of got a bit mad at me and didn't really speak to me very much. So she did wrench you. She did take you to the hospital after hearing half of your story. Correct. 
And why did you feel the need to leave that out when we was asking you questions and telling you to tell us everything you knew? Because I thought it would fuck over it all. And I can't lie. Mm. And I don't want that to happen. I'm going to put a pin in that. You quite clearly can fucking lie. He's calling you a liar. He's I've got the wrench I hit him with if you want it. It's probably still got his blood on the end of it. He's not lying about that part. He's 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 made it clear that you know you wrenched him. He's saying I he told never him I didn't told want you. Anything to do with him. According to him, he never told you that he told Todd about the store and that Johnny's closely associated with us. That man's got a bigger mouth than he fucking knows what to do with. So he's lying. He came clean. He came clean to me after he'd called Neil. Telling him that he was scared that Johnny was going to shoot him, and then Johnny called Neil. Uh, Neil called Johnny to say that he was scared, and then Junior came clean to me because I thought that Junior was telling the truth originally. So why why cover for him? Because I'm friends with him and I care about him, but I didn't know he was lying like this. I did. I honestly didn't know it was that fucking deep, and that he would throw anybody else under the bus to cover his own back. As soon as I found that out, I fucking wrenched him up the side of the head. And to be honest, I was going to leave him by the side of the road. So what did he say to you when that led to you wrenching him? I found out that he'd lied and that he had said that you guys were close associates or friends or whatever he said. I can't quite remember it word for word. And he originally told you that he didn't say that? Yes. So if he was lying about that, I don't know what else he was lying about. You got the wrench on you? Yes. I see it. There you go. Don't know which one it is. Hmm. So what else? Uh, Johnny. You you never told Todd nothing. You've never said anything to Todd to do with us, to do with what Johnny's got going on, nothing. No, the only thing that I said, which was a question and comment to somebody else, I was in the car with Johnny and we were driving and Todd was in the car. Somebody called me and said that Alex, I can't remember his last name, the guy that had the pizza place before Johnny, uh, you guys, I don't even really know who owns the pizza store, before who had ever had it before, had it stolen from under him by a bunch of gangsters. Who did and you I say that like, to, Todd? No, I said that. Somebody said that over the phone to me, and my response was, what do you mean a bunch of gangsters took the pizza store? And that's what I said in the car. Who did you it say that to in the car? I was trying to discredit the person. In front First of Todd? Temple. Yes. Okay. It was the only thing I've said that's anything like that, but I don't think it's a huge secret that you guys work at the pizza store. Don't disagree. Now, my next question is very, very, very vital. Okay. Where the fuck is Junior's SIM card? I have no idea. I honestly don't know. He took a phone call from Johnny, ran off, and it disappeared. I don't fucking know. Oh, when hold I wrenched on a him, minute. I checked his pockets and it wasn't there. Hold on a minute. You did not dispose of his SIM card? No. He never gave you his SIM card? No. And you never threw it no. at Great Ocean? No. Okay. We have another conflicting statement, Junior. What's that, mate? So, Orm is telling me she never had possession of your SIM card. And she never oh, threw it. interesting. And she's Whoa. telling me that when she wrenched you, you didn't have it on you at that point. I don't know what to tell you there, mate, because I had it on me, got it in the head. Can't really remember much else. After. And then all I, all I remember next is just screaming about Fanta, Fanta Light in the fucking hospital. Do you know what I mean? So all of a sudden you got memory loss? Well, I got it in the head with a wrench. So, yes. So, your SIM card's so, gone from being given to her and thrown on Great Ocean to you not knowing well, no, what I, happened. Mate, we, I'm more than happy to get in a car and go look for it. I, I got a... I you know, don't I don't care for you looking for it. Did you give the SIM card to her and did she throw it? Yes or no? I had the phone on me, got knocked out. All I can tell you, mate. 
I, I just assumed she took it because she went off into the fucking... You are to look full at the sea. of shit, Junior. You are full of pure horse shit. First of all, you're so confident that she threw it. As soon as I get her down here, it's been misplaced and you don't know where it's gone. Bruv, what? Mate, if you're going to sit here... No, no, I ain't listening. You listen, right? If you're going to sit here right now and feed me bullshit, there's no fucking point. You are not going to benefit unless you tell me exactly what happened. What the fuck happened okay. with the SIM card? So, once I finished speaking to Johnny, uh, me and Autumn, well, Autumn started chatting to me a little bit. Hit me over the head with a wrench. Then, that's, you know, that's all I wrote. She, she, she ran my pockets. And then, that was it. Sorry, misplaced the part. I gave him my wrench. She hit me over the head with a wrench. Ran my pockets. To hospital. So where the fuck did you get Great there. Ocean from? Uh, we were at Great Ocean when I got hit over the head with a wrench. So what made you so confident she threw it? Uh, because we pulled over to the side at one point. Probably was, uh, unfortunately, passed out in, in the in the motor vehicle, uh, and she was she stood out in the ocean. I couldn't really see much. So I was sort of just, you know, being a bit of a potato in the back seats. And that's when I assumed she threw it, and I was under a bit of you know distress. So who knows? When you hit him with a wrench, Autumn, you Say said again, you sorry? when when you hit him with a wrench, you ran his pockets, yeah. right? Yeah. Did he have a SIM card in his phone? No. No, he didn't. He didn't. No. Mate, if you believe that, I've got some ice to sell to a fucking Eskimo. Because he's telling me you knocked him out. You ran his pockets. You took your sim, and then you threw it by a great ocean. Now, one of you's lying. Granted, you sound a bit more convincing than he does, but someone's lying. I'm, I'm not about to lie to a guy with a gun, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Look. This isn't an everyday occurrence for me. I understand that. And you might have been brought into some bullshit that you didn't want to be involved in, and in, in that Very I feel so. sorry for you, but... I might not be able to get the information out of you. I don't know you. You might be an actor. You might be a great liar. I'm, I'm going to have really to pass you like... over to my guy Mick real quick. And we're okay. going to see what we can get out of you. Because okay. right now something ain't adding up. Okay. Follow me. Okay. If you just want to go in there where Junior is. Junior, you can come with me, mate. Mick, I uh, got another one here that, you know, I need to get the truth out of. If you uh, wouldn't mind putting her through the ringer and uh, seeing what you can get out of her. Come on, Junior. Where are we off, lad? And why don't you keep an eye on this bonehead while I listen to what she's got to say? Mm -hmm. Ideally, the one with the gun. Say that again. Can you keep an eye on Junior while I listen to what she's got to say? Easy. Sim card. Sim card. Oh, Where's okay. the sim card? I don't know. I don't know where it is. Take a hand, Mick. Grab her hand. Go for a finger. You. Put your hand out in front of you now. Oh Where's the fucking sim card? I don't know. I mean, thank you for the free gifted. To lose your pinky finger first. He didn't have the SIM card when you ran his pockets. He didn't have the SIM card. He didn't have it. So why would he say you had it and threw it then? I don't know. Because he doesn't want you to know where he threw it. I don't know. What was on the SIM card? Do you know what he was trying to hide? No idea. Last chance, my lovely. I don't, I don't know. Ah! Ah! I don't know. All right, all right. Get ease off for now, Mick.
Keep an eye on Junior. I just want to speak to Solomon quick. Johnny, get your wrench out. Now, the issue is we now have a game of he say, she say. Junior yeah. is saying that she took the SIM card and threw it. She's saying that when she ran his pockets, he had no SIM card. All right. So do you know the solution to all this? Hmm. They're both clearly involved, right? I mean, she was lying to Johnny about not knowing where he was. She was in the back of a fucking car. She had a mask on. She's trying to hide her voice. I mean, that alone says that she's been involved prior to that. Right. You with me? I am. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. Mickey is going to get Junior on his hands and knees in front of Autumn. Mickey is going to tear open his shirt and start carving the word snitch on that cunt's fucking chest. Right? She's going to watch. Johnny's going to watch. The minute he's finished carving, you dome the cunt. And then Mickey stabs the ever-loving fuck out of that bitch over there. We get in cars and fuck off. I'm not satisfied yet. Give me five. Another question. Why'd you lie to Johnny? I didn't, I didn't know beforehand. I told Johnny the truth about everything I knew and then Junior told me after. I didn't know. I'd never lie to Johnny. Well, you did. You had the man in the back of your car that Johnny was looking for and wanting to speak yeah. to. And you covered for him. So you lied to him. very much against my better judgment but I'd already made it very clear to Junior I wanted fuck all to do with him after that I told him never to speak to me again never to call me or talk to me mm. he was bringing me into shit I don't want to be involved in this isn't my shit mm. do you lie to him? I, yes I lied to him about where I was yes you see how that makes you look a bit guilty in all of this? I can see, yes, yes. One lie is... Fuck me up. The moment you decided to lie... You involved yourself. Now, you, you put your phone in the glove box, correct? Yes. And who took it? Johnny? I, I don't know, maybe. I don't... I don't all right, give, me, give me one moment, give me one moment. Johnny, did you take our phone? No, I didn't. Could you I pass me our phone to, real quick? I believe you did. Uh, Solomon has it. Oh, God. No, I have it right now. We've gone through it already. Anything on there? Uh, no. Last few texts have been absolutely fuck all bar texts to Johnny saying, like, where are you? Ping me, blah, 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 blah. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the call history isn't there. But we know, obviously, she fucking called Julia. Because she fucking found the guy, apparently. And we also know that she's been fucking phoning Johnny. I'm assuming she must have phoned the other guy she had in the car with. In fact, have we asked her who the other guy in the fucking car was? Mm, no. I'm, I'm guessing it's Neil. That's where the sim is. Neil. I'm also convinced she's got another sim. Autumn, who is the guy that was in the car with you at the hospital? Not Junior. Uh, my friend Deco. Deco. Yeah. Tell me a bit about Deco. Why was he in the car? What does he know about this situation? nothing at all i picked him up later on he he'd been in a towing accident and then got shot in the neck by a crazed local that didn't like that he was dropping a car off somewhere not too far from here where you tow truck so how can he be in a car carrying a body of someone you've just wrenched and have no idea what's going on yeah i told him not to ask questions people don't tend to ask questions when you've got someone passed out in the back of a car He's kind of the person that likes to keep his head down. He doesn't like shit. He's just, he just toes. Now he wouldn't happen to have the SIM card, would he? SK, can we no. wrap up and shoot Junior soon, please? He's, he's, he's apparent bored. He wasn't even there before. I told you, I really don't know where the SIM card is. I don't know what Junior did with it. All right, listen, know. listen, listen. Stay with me. I'm gonna bring you over here shortly. Okay. Johnny, do me a favor. Start asking about the other guy in the car. Asked him. His name's Deco. Apparently, you don't know what the fuck's going on. She said, don't ask questions when he came in. 
what I'm going to do, we're going to do a bit of your plan, but we're going to do a slightly different. We're going to bring him. We'll do the whole snitch on the chest thing. Make her watch. Mm -hmm. See how she folds. We're going to grab her. We're going to take her away. And we're not going to kill her today. We're not going to hurt her today. We're going to say, look, you have 48 hours to find us that SIM card. Otherwise, we're going to fucking find you and everyone you care about. See what she can dig up. See if she can get hold of it. Leave her out there because her fear might lead her to more confessions. All right, easy. Sweet. Mick, you can bring her over. All right. Junior. Yes, mate. Did you know I'm that out. back in secondary school, Mick was a master craftsman? Was he really? What did he do? Well, I'm going to need you to get down onto your knees. Fucking hell. Tell me how to dinner first, lad. Jesus. Yeah, Mick, don't forget. Let's get first. All right, shut up. Do me a no. favor, Mick. Rip open his shirt. Rip open his jacket. Get that chest out there. Whoa, fucking hell, lads. My favorite suit. Chill out, fella. You know how to spell the word rat? Go ahead and do a nice little signature that says rat on his chest for him. Make sure you're watching this, Autumn. Do me a favor, make sure you hit bone with that shit. I know you got the knife skills, Mick. I'd suggest you uh, grit your teeth a little bit, son. Pick up a bit, Mick. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Probs is good. Ow, ow, ow. Nice and deep. Oh, 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 Go ahead and move the uh, move the baller and just face it so we can leave straight away. Junior, junior, junior. Autumn, autumn, autumn. Do me a favor, Autumn. Yeah. Go hop in the back of that car. Okay. Oh. Go hop in the car as well, Mick. I'll be right with you. No worries. Where are we heading to? Just away. Junior! Many, 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 yes, many, 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 many fucking times I hear your name get mentioned, and every single time it's unpleasant. I'll be honest with you. You tripped over your own fucking lies again. Conflicting stories. I don't know if she's covering for you, you're covering for her, if she's lying or you're lying. But... You know, you you ran away the last time Luke was going to put a bullet in your leg and he was going to put a bullet in your leg and he was going to hope that you learn. That's all it was going to be. A bullet to the leg, a lesson, you bounce back, you switch it up and you never know. You could have been on the other side. You could have been here interrogating somebody else right now. But his bullet was going to be for a lesson. And mine's going to be to put your six feet under. Come on, Autumn, let's have a drink. Chat, remember uh, 241. Yeah, if you can be eyes and ears, mate. So, mm -hmm. you're probably thinking, ah, oh, they shot him. I got away with it. I'm all no. good. Listen, that guy has fucked me off one too many times. You, on the other hand, you ain't fucked me off more than now. I'm going to extend a, uh, an olive branch for you, give you an opportunity to fix what's going on here. Right now, it's a game of he say, she say. I don't know. 
if you're chatting shit or he's chatting shit, right? It could go either way. I don't know you like that. I don't really know him like that. You have 48 hours to get me that SIM card. I don't care how you do it. I don't care what you have to do to get it. But you have 48 hours to get that SIM card. If I don't hear from you in 48 hours, and if I don't have that in my possession in 48 hours, then I'll promise you, I will find you, and I will do to you exactly what I did to him. And if I find out that this Todd has been spoke to, or you've made an attempt to go and try to reach out to anyone, or, you know, make this a bigger matter than it needs to be, then, uh, 48 hours is void. And I'll see you when I see you. Make sense? Yeah, but I don't know what you did with the SIM card. Well. What? Go ahead. Well, you better get to figure it out then, huh? But hey, if we, uh, there be a bounty on your kneecaps. I put some money behind the bar. You should get a drink. We'll uh we'll leave you here. I expect a call, yeah? I'll be Hang in the yellow pages. Before you go. Awesome, you're gonna list me out three names now. Is that real money? Of people that oh you can PC for. You're gonna give me three names of people that you care deeply for. None of them can be Johnny. I don't really have anyone. Don't lie. Three it's names of me. people you spend time with. You, I've already got your phone. I can just fucking pick names at random if I want to. But I'm letting you pick them. But give me three names. I really don't know. What was that guy's name three. for the guy in the car? Banging. I'm going to pick three people from your fucking contact list at random. If you do not bring us what we have asked for within the time frame, not only am I going to get my hands on you, I will get my hands on three people that I have seen you text a lot on your phone and I will do worse to them than what Mickey just done to Junior. Do you understand? It ain't just your life on the line right now, but three people you spend time with as well. I can't. I don't know what he did with the SIM card. Well, I suggest you start playing Cluedo and figuring it the fuck out because that ain't my problem. Maybe Deco. Oh, the drinks. Hey, listen, Autumn. It's a dog eat dog world. I have faith. You'll find a SIM card. You just gotta ask the right people. Remember, 48 hours. Okay, nothing more, nothing less. There you go. That'll help the pain.